sea came from the south, from over there. And this was like a, some sort of like little village and some houses over there behind these sand dunes. And all over here, all the houses were destroyed. So what we see over here is the debris of the houses. And here there's like a port. And well, over there there are more houses, but these houses are not so greatly affected. by about 10 to 20 meters. They're talking about like um, the sea, uh, well the coastal areas were elevated maybe because of the tsunami, but because of the earthquake. And maybe also the tsunami brought lots of sediments with it, so that's probably one of the reasons why this beach is bigger than before. Apparently the fishermen said that the beach before used to be to where back where Fashi am is standing now. So this is a view from behind dunes and well the guy before was saying the waters came from over this direction and over in this direction. Or we think maybe possibly the dunes sheltered those houses a little bit over there a little bit better than all these other ones. So the houses as far as the pile as far back as the pylons go, these kind of electricity pylons. And then this is the Ojo del Mar, this kind of natural lagoon. Tsunami water has arrived up to the houses over there where all those cars are. Apparently the port was largely untouched. So here's the sea. This is some sort of like sand dune or protection. And here you can see behind it this village that was completely untouched. And this is our team. And obviously over there you see the port. And on the other hand, what you see over there is the village that was completely erased from and some houses will offer a little bit of protection from that naturally occurring sand dune. Okay, so the water came up to here, so this is upslope going up to sort of like the higher parts of the village. And this is like some commerce, and then this is going all the way to the beach. So more or less, up, it's arrived more or less up to here. So this is Kisko, and um, here the tsunami, well, the, the water went out, and then sort of about 30 meters, and then the tsunami came in, and then it sort of like broke sort of halfway through the beach, so it didn't really cause any damage, and we've got a little seawall here, so it's not so much damage. 